Hi guys, I'm Martin Kodric, uh, I'm 23 years old and I'm a professional racing driver. Um, I currently race for McLaren and um, that's it. And I study in uh, second, I'm staying in second year of um, business law and economics at the uh, Zagreb School of uh, Economics and Management. Um, currently it's in off season, so um, it's between basically the season ended and now um, we'll start with preparations. But uh, currently I'm at home in Croatia. I normally spend a lot of time in the UK um, where my team is based. And um, now I have uh, one, once a day, I have a sim session and I also have a physical uh, session or training. Um, so in between that, uh, and my focus is now on uh, university. Um, I really try to make the most out of my time. And um, while I'm here, um, since my schedule when I'm back in UK is, is very tight and there isn't much time for studying. So uh, at the moment I'm fully concentrating on, on getting my uh, exams done. And uh, I've currently, I'm here for one month and I've done three exams, so uh, yeah, it's going good. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, um, they're so flexible, um, they, they always uh, come my way. Uh, I mean, um, whenever I have any questions or inquiries or anything, they're always there. Um, they, they always um, adjust to my schedule and um, whenever I maybe can't make it for the exam or anything, they, they always, they always uh, go ahead and ask me, okay, when, when is it okay for you to do it? When can you be ready for it? You know, there isn't just, oh, we set one time and then if I can't make it, they're like, okay, you can't make it, that's, that's, that's done. It's not the case. And um, I'm just very grateful for them, for the support they give me. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend anyone um, studying or, or going into studying in university to, that I think the Shem is the, it's one of the best places, not just on this area in Europe, I think in the world. I think uh, one of the, is the, the biggest difficulty here is, um, is actually scheduling your time, you know, um, since if you're a professional athlete, everything goes into that, into your career and into chasing your dreams. And uh, sometimes it can be very tough to um, just adjust to studying and take the time out of each other, studying and, and, and working on yourself as, a, as an athlete. And uh, I just think being organized and, and really um, managing your time is the key in this, in this particular. Well, exactly like you said, um, micro learning would really help me um, in this particular scenario because when your day is just so full of, of everything, you know, track activities, workshop activities, every, everything I do with my sport, then you have also physical preparation. And uh, I just think micro learning would um, make it more simple because I have a short period of time and I can learn something in that time and uh, apply the, the technique of micro learning and just it would just make it more simple and, and maybe in the time that I have when I'm back in UK and, and I'm at home I would just I think be more ready for when I start properly studying and stuff. So um, I would have more knowledge and it would just make it more easy. Um, after, after my career I see myself obviously in, in, in these waters, you know, um, I would like to keep the business going, um, family business, but maybe even, um, maybe even something in my sport, you know, you never know. And that's, that's why I think it's so important today for a lot of, a lot of sports people take it for granted, the situation they have, and, and they never count on what's going to happen when the career is over. And today, every sport is so extreme and you're so, so into it and until every little detail. You never know, maybe there is an injury that could occur or any, any situation in life that can just put you out of the sport and you need to be ready for it. And uh, not just that, I, I personally study and, and I'm at university because I like it. I like to, I, I look at that as an investment in myself and uh, I would like to take something out of it and then maybe take the business opportunity within a sport that someone else didn't see it because you, you didn't use the knowledge you got at university.